What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle where we take a look at indie games every single day to figure out what's worthwhile in the pile. My name is Splattercat, happy to be your host today. Today we're checking out Artificer, the science of magic, which is kind of like Don't Starve meets Survival Sandbox Research. You're like a scientist on a planet crash landed and we gotta run around examining trees and being like, hmm, this bark is good. Hmm, these leaves are inferior. And that's how science works. Welcome to biology. Uh, let's go ahead and we are going to play the game. I'm going to jump into the second slot right here. That one was just me making sure the game was working properly. You are Raymond Everett, science officer of the GFS Hawking. Your ship has been destroyed near an oxygen-rich planet called Alcor by an unknown force. After making sure everyone is evacuated, you jumped into the last remaining shuttle and shot yourself. That's not a good way to survive. Towards the planet, barely escaping death, and then it went away. Ah, well. I open up my mask-like eyes, and what do I see? A big old sunshiny planet awaiting for me. It looks like this place won the Galactic Lottery. That's right. That's right. The Galactic Lottery was won here. Uh, let's see what we've got going on. I'm alive. Damn, the shuttle's completely wrecked. Nanonics are not working. Not good. Not good, not good. He's gonna sound like Doug from now on. Come on, Raymond! Pull yourself together! Don't panic! I've got this. Standard procedure, stay alive, find water, and signal for help. There's bound to be other survivors, and I've gotta find them. Receiving an escape pod signal. Okay, so we can run around. Uh, here is us on the planet. I do wish that I could zoom in a little bit. Uh, I'm a little zoomed out right now, but there's plants and things around. And so let's look at these weird little tube plants over here. Uh, survival checklist has been upgraded. You've examined a plant and decided to name it the Dotted Algae. You've gained five survival research points. Can I interact with these right here? What happens if I, like, eat them? Damn, I'm bleeding. I've got to patch myself up. Uh, so I've got to use Q or right-click on the ground to use an object. What if I, what if I use this? You're not injured. Oh, okay. I guess it already went through and used it. It looks like it used one up. Okay, we're good. We used one of our med kits. We started out with a flare. And we started out with a family photo. We've started out... Oh, our dog has shades on. That's pretty cool. Looks like maybe a border collie. Or some kind of adorable herding animal. We've got purified water. We've got some papellis. We've got some dotted algae. And we've got a communications device that is actively tracking. Okay, if I take that out, it says there's an unknown signal around here somewhere. I don't know if the unknown signal is coming from... It looks like it's coming from this direction over here. I'll probably leave it alone for right now. Uh, let's examine some of these trees and see what we got going on. So what's up with you, tree? Uh, you've examined the tree and you've decided to call it the whale wood. It doesn't look like a whale, but I guess... I'll accept that at face value. I'm not going to argue about it. It doesn't look like a whale. What is this over here? Let's see what this thing does. I can't sprint. What is this? You've examined the sharp-edged plant, and you have named it Snakeweed. Ow, I've been stabbed. The Snakeweed stabbed me. Douche. How could you? It hurt me. Can I look at this little animal right here? Let's see here. You've examined a fluffy creature, and you've decided to call it the Pick. Okay, so apparently we found the pick. What is this right here? Uh, we found a weeping agaric. I guess I'll pick it up. You never know what you're going to need. We don't know what these are right here. You need a knife to, in order to harvest these properly. Okay, we'll make a knife soon. What is this right here? That is a red twig, I suppose. I mean, it's not really reddish. It's more of an orange, but I accept that. It's kind of dark right now, so let's see how this flare works. Oh, the flare works just like that. Works pretty good. What is this little stumpy thing over here? A uh, stumpy thing is a, another whale wood, but it's like a smaller, more compact version of said whale wood. We've got some more agaric over here, which I'm assuming is a mushroom. Oh. Did my flare go out? I think my flare went out or something when I examined things. There we go. I can keep things brightened up. We're going to be okay. Uh, what are these weird plants over here? Let's see. It's called a snail horn. Hey, give my flare back. I need to be able to see here. This is important to me. If I can't see, it makes my life complicated. Apparently, I can just, like, we can go... And have ourselves a little party. Uh, let's have a look at some of these menus that we have available. So we have a journal right there. We need to secure a drinking water supply. We've got flora, fauna, lore, the eld, and personal. We also seem to have 
an inventory menu where there's our weeping agaric right there. We've got our snake wood. Uh, we've got our snake weed. Sorry, we've got. I'm gonna put the paper inside of here. Let's go ahead and I'm just gonna keep everything inside of here that I don't need for right now because it seems like we're carrying around a lot of ish and I only want like the vital stuff with me for right now. And then we've got another menu on this side which looks like a research menu. So we can do alchemy. Where does the alchemy start from? Starts over there. Pop goes your heart metabolic control. And we've got divination on that side. We've got way knots. And then we've got prescience and we've got guided intuition. On this side, we have Astrobiology, which we have Exopathology, Dissect Thy Enemies. I guess I can research it, but we got to make a research desk. So on this side, we've got Herb Lore. We've got Basic Survival Training. Um, I think I need my inventory menu to go away so that I can see right there. In the light of 96% average, average, average mortality rate from spaceship crashes, the EI-7634 class was widely considered a waste of time. There were so many better things to learn. Alcubierre drive operations, pilot wave theories, electromagnetic warfare, not to mention exploring the Jovian nightlife. Nicknamed stick rubbing by the students, it was made mandatory for the senior officers after the infamous Kronos incident. You loved it. Inspired in your early years by the ancient series, primitive technology, you've completed the class with flying colors. When it comes to starting fires, testing edibility, building shelters, and constructing rudimentary tools, you are the expert. And so we can make ourselves an improvised axe right there. But I don't know how to go to... Is there a crafting menu somewhere? How do I craft things? Well, a thought crosses my mind that maybe I don't have the ability to craft things yet. Maybe that's not something that I'm able to do. Maybe I should track down this signal and follow the narrative pathways that the game has put out for me. I'm a sandbox game... What's that noise? Oh, uh, it's a giant worm that's trying to murder us. How about we, we not mess with those? That worm is far larger than any worm has any right to be. That worm can go handle its biz. I'm going to pick up that rock, though. I'm going to get these rocks, though. Can I get the big rock? Or is that not a thing that I can do? I can examine it. Let's examine the big rock. Uh, it's a granite deposit, and we've gotten eight survival points. It keeps saying that I've got survival points, but I don't really know what those are for. Maybe it'll explain later. It looks like we basically made the vertical vector good. Now we just need to find this place off to our left. I am not seeing much so far. Oh, yeah, there we go. This might be our guy. Oh, it's Albert. No signs of life, yo. He never did beat me at chess, old boy. Now I suppose you'll never have the chance. These lesions don't look like crash wounds. Something did this to him. Or someone. Damn, well, there's another signal. I better check it out. Well, he found some water on there, so good. Oh, we got a last note added as well with the journal entry. Let's have a look real quick. So we got Albert's last note. Is it in my inventory, maybe? Um, I don't see any journal entries. I see zero journal entries. It said that it added a journal entry, but I don't see it. So, maybe it's not in the game yet. This game is currently being developed, so there's a chance that that hasn't been fleshed out. I don't know. We've got herb lore and makeshift constructions. Let's go ahead and do these. We've got snakeweed bending, and we've got primitive warfare. Sticks and stones can hurt your bones. Yep, and words can hurt a lot, too, for years and years to come. That's what they always fail to mention. That's what they always mention to say about that saying. Sticks and stones will hurt my bones, but words, you know, will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Eh. I find that as time goes along. Ow! Centipede poison. Oh, weak, dude. Super weak. Can I heal the centipede poison? Apparently, I can heal the centipede poison by using one of my med kits. You better leave me alone, centipede. You better leave me alone. I ain't got nothing for you. I got nothing to show you. Leave me. I, I haven't bothered you at all. I'm going to pick up some of your mushrooms, though, as a penance. That's what you get. That is what you get. Uh, yeah, let's pick up some of that, too. Grab some of these. We already picked up the snake weeds, so I don't think I need to scratch myself any further on that. Let's see if we can locate this other signal over here, though. I'm pretty sure I can gather sticks or something from these trees right here. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. How many sticks do I have right now? Eight? That'll have to do for the moment. 
I don't know if that's going to be enough for what I'm trying to do here. Turn that off. It's a little too bright right now. And then we'll go back to our shuttle signal. Looks like it wants me to go back this way. And so I can check my vitals if I press I. Alright. Uh, so with my vitals right here, it looks like we have about 1,800 seconds. So we've got about a half an hour until we die of dehydration. That's okay because that's the average length of one of my videos. I accept that. Let's go back to our shuttle signal and see what we can accomplish here. It's probably just taking us back to our own shuttle. Alright, so at our own shuttle, we have access to... and Oh, we could craft at our shuttle. Oh! See, my dumbass was running around trying to figure out how I craft things, and this is how I craft things. So there's our axe, and we don't have enough resources for the pickaxe. Presumably rocks are what we don't have enough of. So let's grab that, and then we'll make ourselves a pickaxe real fast. Now that we've got the pickaxe, we'll put that in right there. Uh, first aid kit, you can go right there. We've got all of our weird little research brochures that I've crafted. And then I've got that right there. We'll put you right there. Okay. Now if I take out the axe, the survival checklist has been updated. I wonder if I can interact with this now. I can. There's no axe graphic, but it does look like we're dealing some pretty serious damage to that tree. What if I wanted to kill this tree right here? Like, what if this tree is a jerk? Oh, no, there's a centipede in the tree. There's a centipede in the tree. Uh, we can press F to attack the nearest monster. I guess we'll attack the monster. There you go. We've murdered it. I can examine it now. It looks like we got some research points. Uh, you have examined the insect's corpse. Does it drop any loot or anything like that? It don't look like it does, but we did get a little bit scuffed up from that. Let's grab what wood we can from over here, and we'll start thinking about building up our research center so that we can start working on new technologies and kind of moving through the game a little bit more efficiently. Uh, this guy right here. Oh, there's an extra log right there. I will always take more logs. I got logs like calculus class. You don't even know. Let's grab this right here. Okay, good. And if I can make some kind of light source, that'd be great too. Or a heavy light source. It doesn't matter really what the weight is as long as it emits photons. Uh, let's see here. We've got ourselves a research desk. A research desk and a workshop. Let's do the workshop. I don't have enough resources. Okay, well, we'll do the research bench then. Research bench has been accomplished. Let's see. Oh, I drag it out like so. Okay. Yeah, put the bench right there for right now. Uh, what can I do with the research bench? I assume that I maybe drag ship that over to there. And so we've got that. It's going to take... I don't know what this means. So we've got three little dots over here. Can I only put those in? It looks like we have to do some kind of puzzle here. Maybe it unlocks when we get the proper... So that one's right. So I think we get a certain number of tries. That one's correct. Hey, there we go. So apparently we have to do some kind of mysticism or something in order to get it done. I don't know what that 67 is right there. Maybe that's how long I have before I have to craft a new research bench, maybe. I honestly have no idea, but I kind of like that system. It's kind of cool. I mean, it works. Uh, so we've completed that research. Let's put another one of our researches in here. Let's see if we can get done. So we've got snake wheat bending, we've got herb lore, and we've got exopathology. Let's start with exopathology here. With the exopathology, we'll put that in. And this one seems to be a little different. Oh, it's a matching game. Okay. Was that that one right there? Nope, that was a water. Okay. There's a skull right there. What was that one right there? There we go. I knew I'd find one eventually. I knew I'd find one eventually. Uh, I think there was a water right there. Yeah. And then there's... Oh, I don't have another water right now. But we do have that one right there. We do have the skull, so I can make that happen. And uh, we've got a moon. I think there was a moon there? Yeah. We've got another moon right there, so we're firing blind again. So those two can go with each other. And then we got another moon right there. Oh, we're getting there, y'all. Uh, where was the other water at? Right here? Yeah, there it was. 
And then there's our two sunshines. I'm glad I didn't dig around looking for the sunshine because I don't think I would have found it. I think I would have gotten lost along the way. Uh, let's go with snake wood bending real fast. That one's going to be another one of these right here. I'm just going to brute force it so there's no skulls. And it was all moons, apparently. It was all moons, and we're good at snake weed bending now. We also have heat treatments, which we could play around with. Looks like it's going to make me do another matching game. Hey, we hit the skull on the first go. Nice. So we got water and sunshine right there. Uh, skull, I don't know where skull is at, so... Wasn't that moon right there? Yeah, it was. We'll work through it. I think sunshine was right there. And we got another sunshine on that side, but we got it on the first guess. I don't recall where water was at, so that's going to have to do its thing. And so now we got heat treatment. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if that's when the bench falls apart and we're not allowed to use it anymore. Let's finish the remainder of our research real fast. Uh... Apparently, it likes Skull. Skull am good. What happens if it goes up to there? Okay. Rough idea of what they were going for. We had to hit the little boundary right there. The puzzle solving's cool. I like it. It's not unenjoyable. Uh, what kind of new cool stuff can I craft now? I can make all kinds of stuff. We've got charcoal torches. We've got algae bandages. We've got a stone mortar and pestle that we can create. We've got a basic workshop. Let's go grab the things we need for the basic workshop. I mean, it's probably a good idea that we start working towards water of some kind, too. But considering I don't know exactly how to get there just yet, let's just sort of meander and see what happens with this whole experience. What's the worst that could take place? I die on a hostile foreign planet, you know? I also don't know how much hydration we get from our water, so I'm gonna get a, let it get kind of low so I can figure out how much I actually get because the worst thing we could do right now is waste that water by over-drinking. And we'll grab some of these goodies right here. We've got more wood. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Oh, the wood's stacked up right there. Yeah, it's probably enough. We have, what, 12 wood? Okay, let's make this workbench down here and let's see what we can accomplish. So we can make a campfire too. Let's do that. I'm gonna make a campfire. So with the campfire, we can pretty much put that wherever we want. I'm going to put the campfire over here. And with the campfire, it looks like that is for items in that slot will burn. And that is the result slot. Okay. Put a whale wood log in there. And what is that? Oh, fuel goes right there. Okay. Cool. So we've got the fuel. And now that the fuel is in, items in that slot will burn. What if I put the... I don't know. I mean, honestly, we could put just about anything in there. How do I light the fire? Come on, baby, light my fire. I probably need, like, a flint and tinder or something, maybe? I don't know. Can I light it with the flare? No. Well, I honestly have no idea, then. I'm not sure how we light the fire. I assume we need, like, a flint and steel or something like that. Uh, other things that we can craft. We've got a kiln right there, but that looks like it requires clay of some sort. We've got our research desk. We need a few more wood if we were going to craft for ourselves a basic workshop. So let's sprint up up to here and we'll kill off a few more of these trees and we'll make it happen. That's right, tree. What you really know about me. I'm going to beat you till your tree heart flee. And I don't know. Beat you till your tree eyes don't see. There we go. I know I can make it rhyme. I knew I could get a rhyme out right there. It wasn't the strongest rhyme. I'll fully admit to that. It wasn't the strongest rhyme, but we got there, okay? It's not about how strong the journey was. It's about whether or not you made it, okay? That's at least what I keep telling myself subconsciously. Keep grabbing a little bit more wood. Yeah, let's see it. Let's do this thing. Let's get it on in there. Yeah, wood for everybody. Wood for me. Wood for you. Okay, and so we've got our basic workshop right there that we can craft up. That's good and taken care of. I don't have any charcoal right now, so I don't think we're going to be able to make any torches, but I will make some standing torches pretty soon so that we can see. We can also make an autopsy table if we have 5 algae and 15 stones. We're going to need a lot more stone to make that happen, though. For the snake weed, don't we get hurt every time we touch that, though? That's the part that worries me, is every time I touch snake weed, something bad happens to me. And so, like, I don't know if I want to touch snake weed anymore. Let's drink some water. 
Let's go to the seven key. And we drank some water, and that gave us about 600 seconds. Um, are there any rocks or anything around that I can mine? Are there any more signals to look at? Or is the signal purely relegated to my ship? Well, let's go look for this new signal down here. And we'll look out for rocks or anything else that can be mined along the way. There's a creature right there. Oh, there's another critter right there, too. You want to hang? No. You stop that. You stop that right now. I don't like you, whale worm. I don't like you one bit. You're a jerk. And I got poisoned again by centipedes. Centipodes. Centipodas. Feels bad, man. Is that charcoal right there on the ground? What is that? It looks like it's free for me to take. I don't see any rocks or anything, so... I'm also, like, heading back towards where I came from. Is there a way for me to, like, change the signals? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Apparently, I can right-click and I can change the signals around so I can find my way back home. That's a nice little feature so that you don't ever lose your base. I like that. The amount of times I've lost my base in other survival games that don't have maps and stuff like that has been... It's been trying, okay? It's happened. We admit to it. Looks like there's some kind of weird bug over there. What kind of bug is that? Can I look at it? Bug, would you like to be examined? Oh, nope, we're about to get beat up by a centipede again. Hold up. Hit that fool with an axe. Yeah, take his ass out. Don't let him run you like that. Don't let him run you like that. See, now you made me use a med kit. Now I gotta, now I gotta heal up. It looks like those med kits do work, though. We're gonna have to figure out a new way for us to... Really wish that I could zoom in right now to scan this bug. Kind of hard to click on it. That knee keeps moving. There we go. So it's a Nargile. Can I capture it? Is that plausible? I don't really want the tree. I want these rocks. There we go. I knew I could make it work. I just had to try real, real hard and believe in myself. Just like Mr. Rogers said. You chisel away at that rock, Wiz. You chisel away at that rock. It looks like maybe the rocks don't have any place to go when they spawn out. So they just, like, stop, maybe? Oh, no, they're stacking up on that location. Okay. We need lots more rocks so that we can do some more stuff. So no complaints. Maybe we'll find some valuable ores or something, too. You never know. Oh, there's another one. Damn it. Get out of here. Get out of here, you worm. Get out of here. All right, so the worm has been taken care of. As it would appear, there's a whole lot of centipedes around here. And they've all got a big, big issue with the way that our people have treated them in digital media and video games. That's right, I'm old school. I used to play centipede, son. I used to play centipede at the arcade back when arcades were a thing and they weren't just like a, a weird nostalgia throwback thing that goes out of business within the first six months of being there. We got 20 rocks right now. That should be enough for the stuff we're trying to do. Let's get onto this signal. Ooh, a new plant. What are you? What do you do? I have never viewed you before. Would you like to come with me, new plant? I actually kind of just want to pick that up. I'm not trying to adjust my signal right now. I do think the game needs a little bit more of a coherent control scheme. So, like, you can right-click to interact with things, but you can also, like, press spacebar to interact with things. But sometimes your items, they are activated and deactivated by right-clicking. Like, they, I think they need to... Uh, some of the functions need to be segregated a little bit better on on the controls. Where was this at? It was over here. Man, dude, there's a lot of, like, vicious animals out here, though. And I'm kind of tired of dealing with them. Like, they're kind of jerks, man. My body is taking a pummeling right now. Also, why is the health done in fractions? Couldn't you have just given the player, like, 100 health? And then just had it go down by one point at a time? There's a lot of questions that I feel the need to ask right now. What is this? Is it like Pete? What is it? You don't like sand. However, that's not what you've discovered. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. Uh, you've also discovered a clay deposit. We did need clay from one of the crafting things we were trying to do. So let me work this clay deposit for just a minute. And once we get done with it, we'll start worrying about the other stuff. Can I drink this water right here? Is that an option? Like, can I bottle water from it? I mean, it was just a thought. I didn't know if it was going to work or not, but just something that ran past my brain there. We've also got some cattail stalks over here. 
Uh, we're going to call those mush cane, I guess. How we're naming these things, I don't really know. We just kind of make it up as we go along. Turn that on. And I need the unknown signal. So the unknown signal looks like it's up this way pretty close. Probably in this clearing right here. There it is. Another dead person. It's Maggie. She was one of Anna's friends, the zoologist. She had a few weird pets, and this looks like one of them. I think this was Oinkstein, the pig. He was supposed to be really smart. Gone in an instant, as is her owner. I suppose we both lost somebody close today, Anna. So far I found two people, and both of them have been dead. She is hoping I don't join their ranks. Don't think about that, Raymond. Gotta keep looking. Yeah, just keep on looking. Got another signal. Strange, it points roughly to my shuttle's location. Is there anything on the dead bodies? The water in her bottle looks contaminated. Half full. She must have been desperate to drink it. At least I know I need to purify the water somehow. Alright, well let's head back to our base and we'll see what's waiting for us there. Back at base, let's see what this mysterious signal is. What's that noise? You'll pardon my French, but holy shit! Not only are the two people I found thus far dead... But I'm also seeing things. Am I going crazy? No, alien. You are far from madness. My word, that's real. What is this? You aren't here to kill me, are you? I am not. Well, I suppose that's a reassuring to a lesser degree. What are you, and how can you understand English? My name is Astarte. I have learned your language from others who have crashed here in the past. Do you know if anybody else from my party is alive? That is not relevant. You must listen to me now. I have little time. This planet is dangerous. If you are to survive and rescue your mate, you must learn the art of this planet. My mate? Anna? What a peculiar way of putting it. What do you mean, the art of this planet? There is a force here. The Eld. Your ancestors would call it magic. You must master it in order to survive. Begin with the art of commanding the elements in nature to your own ends. Alchemy. Alchemy? Magic? Now I've heard everything. There is little time. Take this. What is this? It is a way not. It will make you or take you to the eye of Moloch. It interferes with my presence here. You will kill it. It has your mate. One more detail, why should I believe you? For all I know, this could just be a bundle of weeds and you're sending me to my death. Can you afford to ignore my words? Act, alien. We will talk again. That's the sound she made when she teleported away. Well, apparently, I have a wake knot now. So, there you go. New objects. A way knot Bound to the eye of Moloch. I have no idea what it does, but we'll figure it out later. This game is called Artificer. If you wanted to get it for yourself, it's coming out on Steam in a little while. I'll have a link for you down below. Take care out there, everybody. It's been great to have you. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like on it. It helps me out more as a content creator than you know. But aside from that, I got nothing else for you. Bye-bye.